Hello guys, today I'm back with more content about Livewire. I have analyzed my 2021 content results and I concluded that Livewire is a really popular topic and growing, so I'm glad to be back with more about that. And today I'm presenting new component, component number 35 on my Livewire kit. If we scroll down, the new one is Password Generator. And this is actually an interesting story. This component was not created by me. It was a collaboration started with this tweet reply by Justin Byrne. So I was just looking for ideas for new components on my Livewire kit. And Justin was like, hey, can I donate a component? And in fact, he did. The result of that is a component called Generate Password. And in this video, I will explain how it works. I will also show two tricks about Livewire, how to make some things shorter, but generally this is how it works. So in any place on your blade file, for example this, you can add password generate component, which would render two fields, password and confirm password. And if you click generate, it generates random password. And if you click here, it shows or hides the password. So those two buttons are powered by Livewire. Let's take a look at the code. So as I said, in your blade, you enter Livewire with password generate. And inside of that component, first I will show you not polished version. And then I will show you a few tricks how to make it a bit better. But anyway, there is a password and password confirmation fields. There's visible or invisible password. And design template is related to Livewire kit because it has two versions, Tailwind or Bootstrap. So in this case, I will show you Tailwind. This is irrelevant for usage outside of Livewire kit. So by default, the password is invisible. And then in the blade of that password generate blade, it's a Tailwind example. So on the button of visible and invisible, we have wire click toggle password in two places back and forth. And then on clicking generate, we have generate password and generate password. What it does, it just generates password by some algorithm, which is created by Justin. You may tweak that, you may have more parameters, you may have different algorithm for the password. That is your choice. And then when the password is actually generated, we have set passwords, which just sets password and password confirmation fields, which are, if we take a look at input type password, we have wire model password here. So this can be used in any registration form, just add that component. And those input fields will get name password like a typical post request without Livewire. And the final thing that I didn't comment was toggle password method, which just makes visible or invisible, true or false. And in fact, this method will be a topic of a few improvements that I will make. Let me show you a few tricks about Livewire. First thing is not that much about Livewire, to be honest, but about mount method. Here in the mount method, in the first version of this component, there was visible false. But mount method is about setting the default values or preparation for general behavior of the component, but not that much about default values if they can be set on the property itself. So what if we do visible false here, default value, and then we don't even need the mount method at all. Mount is kind of like constructor, so we don't need to construct anything. This value assignment will do that for us. If we refresh the page, refresh the page, by default it is invisible. So we generate and then it becomes visible when we click it. So good, we saved some space by removing the mount method. And then another trick I wanted to show you is wire click toggle password, which is a method to just change true or false in some value of live wire component. Livewire has a specific shorter method of doing that, which is wire click dollar toggle. And then you define the property here as a parameter. Toggle visible will do the same thing. So wire click toggle visible will just do true or false on the property visible, which is this one. And then we can remove that method at all. And let's refresh the page and see if it actually works generate visible invisible so it works that thing dollar toggle in livewire is called magic action so in the livewire documentation you can find more magic actions like refresh like set property to value so you don't need to have livewire method inside of the component to set some value you can do set property and value or shorter for boolean fields it's a toggle so toggle is the same as set just for true or false and then you can even emit the event without having to emit that from the component itself. You can do that from the blade. So for example, instead of doing set message to hello with the method, you can do something like this. 
shorter. So that's it, a quick demo of Livewire component. You can find more components, including that password generator and many more on my livewirekit.com. And I'm planning to release more components. And the price for all those components at the moment is $29. That's a one-time fee to have access to all the GitHub, including future updates until I reach 39 components. And then I'm planning to raise the price to, guess what? $39 for 39 components. So until I reach that sometime in 2022, you can get kind of a discount at the moment. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.